In the boundless cosmos, two behemoths emerge, reshaping our understanding of power and commerce. One, an emblem of unwavering command, beckons to those who dare lead from the forefront. The other, a bustling nucleus of trade, promises untold opportunities, wherever fortunes are made amidst the stars. Welcome immortals, I'm Vici Deum, here to compare the Drake Kraken base versus the Kraken Privateer. I'll grade their utility utility, combat capabilities, handling, durability, and fun to run, so you make the best choice with your hard-earned money. And a special thank you to my channel members. Your support really helps me create this content, and we're starting right now. Utility In an ever-expanding universe, how one capitalizes on available opportunities defines the course of their journey. It's not just about having any ship, it's about choosing the right one. And when exploring the vast spectrum of utility, these twin titans rise to the very top. With two extra small internal hangars and six top-mounted small and medium landing pads, ensures you've always got enough room to bring any ship along. So fulfilling any niche or specializing within one is a simple task. Internally, expansive living quarters and habitation accommodations turn both into veritable space stations, and both offer massive cargo holds for their captains, allowing you to stockpile any finds and opens up lucrative trade opportunities. While the base Kraken brings nearly 3,800 SCU of cargo storage, the Privateer has just under 800. But this trade-off comes with incredible offsets, as it swaps the storage for 10 internal markets, comprising 8 public stores and 2 private, each carrying an additional 189 SCU, for nearly 2,000 SCU of additional storage. While this combined payload is still 1,000 SCU less Less than the base variant, the leveraged benefit from these shops offers much more utility and opportunities. For these reasons, the base Kraken gets a 4 out of 5, while the Privateer gets a 4.5 out of 5. Durability. Whether confronting the rage of a neutron star or the unpredictability of deep space encounters, a ship's durability is its truest shield. Designed to handle the harshest environments and persist in the furthest vacuums of space, the base Kraken and Privateer are equally equipped to tackle the most dangerous tasks. Pairing twin capital shields and medium armor brings roughly 2 million hit points of combined protection, ensuring that only the largest, most heavily armored opponents stand a chance piercing through. Since both variants share the exact same shield components and armor, both the base Kraken and Privateer get a 4 out of 5. Handling. In the dance of the cosmos, not all ships were made to pirouette. Some, with their awe-inspiring magnitude and power, move with a deliberate and measured grace. And when navigating these celestial giants, it's more about the destination, not the swiftness of the journey. Both ships are behemoth vessels, and although equipped with VTOL thrusters and massive rear engines, will likely be sluggish giants, neither of which will be able to independently land planet side when fully laden, and instead must rely on a series of smaller tow ships in order to navigate safely. For these reasons, both ships get a 1 out of 5. Combat. Beyond the shimmering horizons, danger awaits, and threats lurk behind every jump point. Some ships rise above the rest, not just as vessels, but fortresses in the verse. The Kraken variants aren't merely modes of transport, cargo, or shops, but stalwart guardians of the void, equipped and ready to face the unforeseen perils that lie ahead. Both ships bring a bevy of firepower, with a twin-size eight-manned bow turret, a further four twin-size six-manned turrets along the bow and stern, and an additional four size five remote turrets distributed throughout. But even more impressive in its offensive armaments are the six landing pads, twin internal hangars, and dragonfly bay on the base Kraken, all of which turn these carriers into truly formidable platforms of war, letting either Kraken take on a range of enemies and provides exceptional fleet support. For these reasons, both the base Kraken and and Privateer get a 4.5 out of 5. 
fun. The starlit horizon beckons, but the true essence of spacefaring isn't just about crossing galaxies or engaging in epic combat. It's about the exhilaration of a new discovery, the heart-pounding adventures, and those unforgettable moments you share with friends. Towards this, both variants promise to keep those friends close by, so you can all enjoy the action together. Personally, I found most backers prefer to fly their own ship, and the Kraken lets them do just that. With room for eight friends, you can ferry their favorite runabout, extend the range of those ships by using the Kraken to jump across systems, and can restock, refuel, and resupply whenever someone's running low. With massive cargo holds, both ships can easily sustain a group for the long term, but the base Kraken is more suited towards supporting wider gameplay. I suspect the logistics with running shops, managing access, and overhead on the privateer will likely come at a cost and require more oversight and management to run. While some may really enjoy this gameplay, I suspect while remaining profitable, the extra investment will likely come as a trade-off to just having fun. For these reasons, the Privateer gets a 3 out of 5. But for its versatility and near limitless potential, the Base Kraken gets a 4 out of 5. In the verse, every pilot must make choices, where to venture, whom to ally with, and most importantly, which vessel to entrust with your dreams and aspirations. The Privateer is tailored for the entrepreneurial spirit. It's a testament to ambition and opportunity. For these reasons, the Kraken Privateer gets a 17 out of 25. But the base variant is a symbol of resilience, freedom, and exploration. It's designed for those who wish to embark on journeys unrestricted, to carve their own path among the stars, and to revel in the raw, unbridled essence of space journey. It's for those that enjoy the pure joy of the journey itself. For these reasons, the base Kraken narrowly comes in to take the win, with 17.5 out of 25. But which ship would you pick? I love the appeal of both variants, but would choose the base Kraken if I had to pick. I think the extra cargo space, ability to carry friends, and overall utility are virtually unmatched in the rest of Star Citizen's lineup. But I have a BMM whose shops I intend to leverage, so I also have less need for a privateer. Although, the logistics of running both are rather daunting. But what are your thoughts? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And a huge thank you to Star Jump for their amazing footage. And if you liked this video, here's another I think you'd enjoy. Or if you want to watch more of these videos, here's the playlist. Either way, thank you, and I look forward to seeing all of you out there in the verse.